In this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 most luxurious and expensive helicopters in the world revealed. So before starting, do like the video and subscribe to The Luxury Lord for future updates. All right, let's start with number 10, Augusta Westland AW109. The Leonardo SPA built Augusta Westland AW109, originally the Augusta A109, is a lightweight twin-engine, eight-seat, multi-purpose helicopter, formerly Augusta Westland, merged into the new Fin Mechanica since 2016. First mass-produced Italian helicopter, the Augusta-developed A109 has been employed in light transport, medevac, search and rescue, and military duty since 1976. 40 years of AW109 manufacturing, the Augusta Westland AW119 is a single-engine version of the AW109. The AW109 power has a three-axis autopilot, auto-coupled instrument landing system, integrated GPS, moving map display, weather radar, and traffic alerting system, according to Augusta Westland. These features reduce pilot effort. The AW109 can be flown under single or dual pilot instrument flight regulations, IFR, and allow night vision goggles, NVG, for day and night missions. The commanding pilot can activate the AW109's force trim system utilizing triggers on the cyclic and collective to hold the control inputs at the previous specified position. The hydraulic, hydraulic actuator, electrical, and power inverter systems are redundant for fail-safe operation. Due to component reliability, the AW109 requires less maintenance. Number 9, Eurocopter EC-175. Airbus Helicopters makes the 7-ton H-175 medium-utility helicopter, formerly Eurocopter Group. Avacopter manufactures the H-175 in China and the AC-352. The Eurocopter EC-175 and Harbin Z-15 were super-medium helicopters. Airbus helicopters anticipated 800 to 1,000 EC-175 sales over 20 years at Hella Expo in Houston on February 24, 2008. The EC-175 entered service in December 2014 and was renamed the H-175 in 2015 after Eurocopter became Airbus Helicopters. The H-175 supports oil and gas and search and rescue tasks in civilian and parapublic markets. Parapublic activities, homeland security, air medical services, utility missions, and business transport supply. The EC-175 can seat 18 passengers in an oil and gas transport configuration, 9 to 12 in an executive layout, and 6 to 8 in a VIP configuration. It has large, jettisonable windows and big sliding doors. The H-175's flat floor allows diverse configurations. Some designs have a huge luggage compartment accessible from both sides and auxiliary fuel tanks or storage beneath the cabin floor. Number 8. Airbus Helicopters H-155 Airbus's sophisticated rotor technology makes the H-155 a dolphin, the quietest in its class. Even at high speeds, this helicopter's Spheriflex main rotor head provides a smooth ride, great control, and stability. The shrouded Fenestron tail motor makes the H-155 quiet and low-maintenance. Shrouded motors improve ground safety and yaw control, especially in limited space. The H-155 has two Saffron Ariel 2C2 turbine engines with dual-channel full-authority digital engine controls for fully automated one-engine inoperative safety. The H-155 boasts a lengthy flight range and a class-leading cruising speed due to its engine. H-155 airframe components composed of corrosion-resistant composite materials and light alloys ensure durability and mission capability. The H-155's full-glass cockpit and big LCD screens increase safety, pilot workload, and maintenance. Two Garmin GTN 750 touchscreens in the center console improve situational awareness and connectivity. Number 7. Augusta Westland AW139 The Augusta Westland AW139 has class-leading speed, riding quality, quietness, and passenger cabin size. Active noise cancellation headphones promote comfort, 7 seats, 12 seats, and 15 seats are available. Outside the chopper is 3.4 M3, 120 feet 3 of cargo space. Our helicopters can reach the most 
distant parts of North America with a 100-foot landing radius. Certified Category A, Class 1, performance guarantees operation in all situations and loads. Number 6, Sikorsky S-76C. A subsidiary of Sikorsky Aircraft, Sikorsky S-76 is a multi-role, medium-sized utility helicopter. It was created for Canada's CHC Helicopter Corporation. S-76 first flew on the 13th of March, 1977. Over 800 S-76 helicopters have been sold internationally. The S-76 performs VIP, EMS, SAR, and offshore power passenger and freight transport. The S-76 seats 14, including two pilots, landing gear retracts. In January 2006, Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation got FAA certification for its S-76C++ variant. S-76D, the latest S-76 variant, received the FAA type certificate in October 2012. In Q4 2013, the first S-76D helicopter was delivered. The CAAC validated the S-76D helicopter in April of 2014. Number 5, Bell 525 Relentless. American medium lift helicopter under development by Bell Textron is called the Bell 525 Relentless. The Bell 525 debuted in February 2012 during the 2012 Hella Expo in Dallas, Texas. On July 1, 2015, the helicopter made its maiden flight. It can accommodate up to 19 passengers. The first flight of the Bell 525 was scheduled for late 2014 until to 2016 PHI Incorporated served as the type's launch customer, but that has since changed. The Bell 525 prototype first flew in July 2015 after a six-month delay. Bell then estimated that certification will be finished by the end of 2017. In May 2016, the FAA proposed special regulations to deal with the fly-by-wire idea. The Bell 525 is made to fall inside the newly created super medium size category and is perfectly suited to serve offshore oil and gas operations. Customers from such industry make up half of the total. The Airbus helicopters H-175 and the Augusta Westland AW-189 are two helicopters in the same class that are currently in development. At maximum gross weight category A, takeoff certification for the 525 is required. This entails the capability of continuing a takeoff or landing in the event that either of the helicopter's two turbine engines should malfunction. Number four, Airbus AS332L1E VIP Super Puma. The Airbus helicopters H215, formerly known as the Eurocopter AS332 Super Puma, is a medium-sized utility helicopter with four blades and twin engines that was first developed and marketed by Aerospatial, then by Eurocopter, and is currently being marketed by Airbus Helicopters. The aircraft is an upgraded and larger version of the original Aerospatial SA-330 Puma. The Super Puma, which made its first flight in 1978, replaced the SA-330 Puma as the type's primary production model in 1980. Super Pumas used in the military have been marketed under the AS-532 Cougar moniker since 1990. A more expansive version of the AS-332, the Eurocopter EC-225 Super Puma, was introduced in 2004 for civilian use. For anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare roles, the Super Puma has also been produced in a navalized version. A folding tail rotor boom, a deck landing guidance system, sonar equipment, and the nose-mounted Omera search radar are added to the Super Puma in this configuration to provide further corrosion protection. It is capable of carrying two Echoset anti-ship missiles for the anti-surface duty. Number three, Sikorsky S-92. The Sikorsky S-92 is a twin-engine medium-lift helicopter manufactured in the United States by Sikorsky Aircraft for both commercial and governmental applications. The Sikorsky S-70 helicopter served as the basis for the development of the S-92, which shares components, including the rotor and 
flight control systems. A military version of the S-92 and the utility transport role, the H-92 Superhawk can accommodate 22 soldiers. Additionally, the H-92 can be set up for specific tasks like executive transportation and search and rescue. A shipboard maritime helicopter derivative called the CH-148 Cyclone was created for the Royal Canadian Air Force to serve Royal Canadian Navy naval operations, a replacement for the Marine One U.S. Presidential Transport Fleet operated by the United States Marine Corps is the Siborski VH-92. Number two, Augusta Westland AW-101. Both military and civilian applications exist for the medium-lift Augusta Westland AW-101 helicopter. It was created in answer to national requirements for a contemporary naval utility helicopter by a joint venture between Westland Helicopters in the United Kingdom and Augusta in Italy, and it made its first flight in 1987. Many operators refer to their AW-101 aircraft as Merlins, including the armed forces of Britain, Denmark, and Portugal. It is produced in factories in Vergiate, Italy, and Yeoville, England. Licensed assembly work has also been done in Japan and the U.S. The plane had previously been offered as EH-101 until 2007. The Anglo-Italian joint venture's name, European Helicopter Industries, served as the inspiration for the initial designation. EH-01, due to a transcription error, this became EH-101. The present name of the type was given when Westland Helicopters and Augusta amalgamated to create Augusta Westland in 2000. Since its introduction into service in 1999, the AW-101 has supplanted a number of more traditional helicopter models, including the Sikorsky Sea King. It tasks like medium-sized transport, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and ship-based utility operations. The CH-149 Cormorant version is used for air seat rescue by the Royal Canadian Air Force, RCAF. Number 1 Airbus H-225 Super Puma The next generation of the Super Puma family of commercial helicopters, the Airbus Helicopters H-225, formerly known as the Eurocopter EC-225 Super Puma, was created by Eurocopter. Depending on client configuration, the twin-engined aircraft may accommodate up to 24 passengers, two crew members, and a cabin attendant. The helicopter is advertised for use in public service missions, VIP passenger transport, and offshore support roles. The military-oriented EC-225 has a sibling that was formerly known as the Eurocopter EC-725, but has since been renamed the H-225M. The EC-225 was formally renamed to the H-225 in 2015 to coincide with Eurocopter's transition to Airbus helicopters as the company's corporate identity. The helicopter is propelled by two Turbo Mecha Makilla 2A1 turboshaft engines mounted over the cabin. These engines have a redundant dual-channel full authority digital engine control, FADEC system for high reliability, and a backup system is present in the event that both FADEC systems fail. They are capable of producing 14% more engine power. The FADEC technology makes sure that the engine power never exceeds the gearbox's capability. So what do you think of this video? Let us know in the comment box below and do like the video and subscribe to the Luxury Lord for future updates.